Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And today I have for you a um, bead haul from Bargain Bead Box. And I've got quite a few goodies to show you. And I thought I would show you them in different sections. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the glass beads first and uh, all different kinds, all different styles. And uh, we're just gonna jump right in. So first of all, I have this gorgeous strand. Now if you look, we've got some really pretty, oops. Some really pretty yellow. It's got a little bit of a coating on it, kind of a sparkly coating. And I love that it's just like a slight yellow. Uh, these are 10 millimeter, nice long strand. And one of the nice things, of course, if you buy from Bargain Bead Box is uh, the 30% off that you get uh, on their already low prices. So I try to take advantage of that a couple times a year. And I wanted to refresh some of my spring colors, especially yellow. I have bought a lot of yellow beads because I just don't have a lot. And the ones I had, I've been using. So not a color that I use normally, but uh, I've been using it more and more. So I've got that in yellow and then I've got a different size in yellow. Also the same treatment, nice long strand again. I think these are four millimeter, yes. These are four millimeter, again with the coating. And then same idea, but these are kind of a purple and green. Again, nice long strand. I don't know, this is kind of a, I can feel the coating, the little sprinkles on here. I don't know if they're gonna stay on or not. I'm worried that they might rub off. I'll let you know. Um, of course, I didn't know that looking at the picture. So they have a little bit of a texture, like somebody glued some like, uh, sparkly stuff on them. So we'll see. We'll see how that wears. And then I got a smaller uh, strand. I think these are six millimeter. Yeah. In the same color. And then uh, also in the, I think this is 10 millimeter. Again, we move these to the side. These are kind of a very light green, like a seafoam bluish green. They're really, really, really slight. And I thought those were pretty. They have more of the silver. I'm gonna adjust my camera for just a second. Or I'm gonna try to. Hmm, it's not letting me. Oh, there's our lawn guy. <laughs> anyway, this is a blue and purple in the four millimeter. Also really pretty. Oh, and I got that same kind of blue green, I mean, uh, purple and green in this, um, I think this is a six millimeter. Yeah, six millimeter. These were really pretty on the, on their page. And then I got some more purple and green. So we've got several different sizes. I'll just stack them up here. You can see. Nice little rainbow of colors. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet, but I just thought they were super pretty and fill up my stash. And then I got some kind of off-kilter red glass beads. I just love the color on those. And I thought I thought the the fact that they're kind of off-center was interesting. It adds an interesting texture. It'd be cool with some asymmetrical design necklaces. And then of course I've got this beautiful. It's like a periwinkle blue with that same kind of luster on it. Um, it doesn't have the sparkly stuff. It has more of like a purple rainbow finish on it. 
Look at it next to the yellow. Of course, those are opposites on the color wheel, so check that out. Pretty, pretty. So those are the glass strands that I got. Let me push those up here. I'm going to take a minute to organize uh, some other items and then that way you don't hear crinkling and I will be right back. It'll be one second for you, but just a few minutes for me. All right, so I've got some crystal beads that I pulled out and some gemstones. And um, look at these barrel beads that are faceted. They have the AB finish. Are those fun or what? Like I said, I bought a lot of yellow because I just seem to be using it more and more. So then I also got kind of a darker yellow in these faceted crystals. Another really long strand. I think this is like an 18 inch strand. So quite a few beads. And uh, it's kind of got a more orange, you know, color to it. So we'll just put those next to each other so you can kind of compare. And then we, I have some crystal cube beads that I got. Love those. And then a more orange color. So definitely more hot colors. I did get some green. This is a Kelly green. Really, really pretty. Really gorgeous. So that is my crystal, crystal pur purchases. Let me put these up here. Now um, I have some dolomite in green with the really pretty gold. Love that. And I also got it in pink. You know, for summer, I thought that would be a lot of fun. So we got pink and green. And then I love these, what I call mermaid beads. And I got these kind of an aqua turquoisey blue color. Gosh, I just love those. They're like, they're like holding... I don't know, it's like, what is that? It's like holding the aurora, aurora borealis in your hand, practically. I love that. All right, moving right along. I'm gonna now pull out, I got a bunch of findings so and, and bead caps. So let me pull those out and I'll be right back. Okay, so on to the findings. I did buy some bead caps. I am running low on kind of medium to large bead caps. And I love to get my bead caps from Bargain Bead Box because they're lead free, cadmium free, and nickel free, and they don't really tarnish as much as other metals. So I got these really pretty etched flowers with the five petals. And then these are another like really pretty sculptural bead cap. I'll try to put some of these. So these are super pretty, I thought. I may actually get back on their website and get some more. I think these were like 99 cents and then I got 30% off. And this is a great place to get your findings um, if you're on a budget. Bargain Bead Box with that 30% coupon um, that you get if you if you subscribe for their you know their monthly subscription you get that 30% discount and you can use that all month long so it is worth it that's how I built up my stash with my uh, findings was pretty much through bargain bead box because you know if you go to the big box stores these are like $3.99 $4.99 if you get them for 99 cents minus 30 percent i don't even know what that is but that's way cheaper than the big box stores and i got these bumpy looking ones very cute and i got some really cute charms flower charms i'll show you the charms next aren't those cute they have a little loop here 
So nice dangles for maybe earrings or a necklace. And there's the back. And they're pretty heavy. They're, they're a nice weight. All right, and then let's see what else I have here. Oh, I've got some, some bee charms. These are fun. Here, let me just pull a few. That way you can see them really good. That's the back, but I thought these were cute. And they'll look great with some of these yellow beads if I decide to do some earrings. I thought about taking like some black soft flex and doing just a yellow bead and then hanging these. I thought that would be cute. I may try that. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, I got some owl charms. And uh, this is an antique brass. There's a bag of them. I think there's eight to a bag. And I also got antique copper. Just anticipation of fall. I know we're, we're just now heading into summer, but I wanna get head start on some fall stuff. So I thought those were really cute. All right, and let's see what else we got. Last but not least on the kind of shapes, animals, shapes. I've got these cute um, shell, bee, shell charms. There's four in a pack and kind of that pretty antique brass for more summer projects. And then I got some, these are really pretty. They're kind of an etched, you get two. I'm not etched, but laser cut, laser cut. Let me move that one over there. Two of these, I thought these would make really pretty earrings with some drops or maybe just one drop, we'll see. But it looks kind of shell-like. I thought that would be cute with um, uh, some of the kind of frosty glass. Looks like it came from the ocean or even some other shell beads. Thought those were cute. So I got two sets of these actually in the gold. And then I got these guys also two, two to a pack. And I just love the detail on that and the loops. So you can do a lot with those. And then I got some similar, more tribal looking to a pack for these. This is the back. But that would be really fun with some African recycled glass beads or some uh, some of those vinyl hishi beads. Be really cool. And I just thought these were super pretty. I end up buying, they get two to a set. But these are some Cloisonne beads. There's the hole. And I just thought that was a pretty peach color it's got a little tiny red dot in there, which you could pick up with some accent beads. Just adorable. Again, I was thinking of either a necklace, actually an anklet would be really cute with these, and um, some more peach beads. Let's see what these look like. Close. Maybe we want to do a green just so we have some contrast. That's cute. All right, and then these are gorgeous. They're, you buy them one a piece. I, I wish I'd bought more though. I may go back and buy more, but I love this. This is a nice little pendant uh, to make with some jewelry and with my yellow beads, or actually these. Look how that matches. Isn't that cool? I hope I'm not making you dizzy. <laughs> uh, but I fell in love with these. They had more too. But I love that. I love that pendant. And 
along with that one, I got this other one, also kind of the same colorway, but different design. And it has a cute little pearl in the center. So I really like that. There's some pendants. And last but certainly not least, I have a cloisonne pendant, uh, a butterfly that's super pretty. Love the colors. They had a bunch of these too. I just loved the colors. And I love the shape too. I like this oblong shape and the holes right there. So you could do some dangles. You could do a nice charm on a bracelet with this, like a little piece that hangs down as an accent piece. I don't know why I don't buy more cloisonne. I really do like it. It is super pretty and very sculptural. All right, so that is kind of my findings. And I'm going to get the next group of things ready, I believe. The next group of things I have are some pendants. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I didn't buy too many pendants. I think I got about four. This is my first one. I just love that sunburst look with the filigree. That's the back of it. And it does come with a bale. I thought it would go nicely with a lot of these. And if I haven't mentioned it before, I have a thing for koi fish. And when I saw this Corne carnelian koi fish, I had to have him. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Love him. He's carved. Got the big eyeballs. And the hole goes through the tip of his mouth. So a nice little pendant for something. I love it. And then I got, I, I also love Tree of Life. Anything Tree of Life. And I thought this was a really pretty wrapped gemstone. Now, I don't think this is Tiger Eye. Uh, I can't remember. It might be a Jasper of some kind. But it's, I really loved the shape and I loved the tree shape. And this also comes with the its own bale. And then last but not least, another carnelian pendant. Now, of course, I like the shape of this one too. So this one has the hole up here, but you could also hang it this way and hang something from it down that way. It's a nice, pretty deep, rustic kind of orange color and it feels this is really really smooth so is the fish i love the way that feels it's a good be a good worry stone if you if you know what i'm talking about just to, for i don't know very tactile and nice to have in your hand so that's really it for the pendants now i have a bunch and i do mean a bunch of check glass uh, and I'm trying to think the best way to show you, most of it is not that exciting. <laughs> I mean, it is, but I'm going to find the ones that I can pull out of the bags. There's some that are in bags that are kind of like heat sealed, and I don't think I want to pull them out. But the other ones uh, I can pull out and show you. Let me just grab a bunch. All right. So we have these really pretty coin beads with that beautiful flower pattern. And these, I kind of um, realized this kind of goes with the uh, bargain bead box that we got for this month, Cloudburst. So I think I'm gonna be adding these to whatever I do with my Cloudburst uh, beads. And I'll be doing a tutorial Tuesday, tomorrow night. Now I mean, I'm not gonna be using these tomorrow night, but I'm gonna add it to the collection. You'll see them at some point. And then I love these. I love the bright green with the gold. More check beads. 
Yes, please. And this gorgeous flower. Love it. Make a nice pendant. Uh, oh, and these. So these, I thought, would be great for a Christmas pair of earrings. They look like poinsettias. And you could add a little green with that. It would be super cute. I do love these. I love how many finishes. It astounds me how many finishes there are for the Czech glass beads. And I got these. These are called turbine beads in blue. The blue is on the edges. And it's got that finish and texture on the ends. Love those. Oh, I got another set of coin beads that look like the poinsettias in different colors. Got blue and green for like a boho, maybe southwestern type thing with some um, turquoise beads and, you know, maybe some of that dolomite, possibly. Can't go wrong with check glass beads. And I got a bunch. I'm enjoying these beads to kind of wrap around other beads. You know, these little half moon. So there's a bunch in this package. And then I got four different, I think I got four different colors. Let me just pull them out. You can see them all. I think I got four others. Let's see. Ah, yes. Some blue. So these are the four colors I got. And I think they made 10 or 12 in a, in a bag. I just thought they would go nicely with a lot of things. I love to have those wrap around a bead, like I said. And then some more check that I like. I love these oblong beads. And I got them in two different colors. Some pink and some really pretty turquoise. I just love those. I love the length. I love how they're long and I I love the finish on these. It's like almost a a sheen, like a little like frosting. I don't know. <laughs> They're all frosty. That's what I like about them. And very cute uh, spring and summer colors, I thought, with those. Then I got some more. I love these as well, these drops. And if you saw my um, Dee Dee's uh, bead box unboxing, I think these are in that strand. Almost this exact color, if I'm not mistaken in her check her check strand that she made for the box love them then i got a bunch of fluted beads so these are kind of a gray with gold and again i think these would be really cute with the bargain bead box that we got so that's probably going to go with some things and i got more melon beads these are, I think these are eight millimeter and kind of a copper and blue. Super fun. Look at them with the koi fish. Oh, <gasps> look. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that. Look how cool that looks. Hmm. Ideas. That's what I love about get, doing a big bead haul. <laughs> Sometimes the stuff you get coordinates, you don't even realize it. Your brain must somehow realize it, but. All right, let's see, we've got more. Oh, let's see. You can hear me rummaging around. Oh, I have some really pretty lamp work I'm gonna show you last. Here are some more gorgeous check beads. Love that finish. For you purple lovers, that's astounding. Purple and kind of a fuchsia. 
And I've not seen this shape before, I don't believe. And the hole is right in the center, so you can use it as like a spacer. Kind of fun. And more melon beads. These are kind of a very light mint with gold. Really pretty. I love that. Nice spring summer color. And I fell in love with these. I love the, I think these are hibiscus flowers. They're table cut. And I love that orange and blue. Those are opposites on the color wheel as well. And it's just a really pretty combination. And I love, there's a nice and thick. And there's the hole. And I love the little textured spot right in the center there. And they do so much, again, with these with these flowers. But look at, these go great with this as well. So there's another idea. Even these look really good with it. Hmm. All right. And then, I forget what they call these, but I got two, two sets of them. They almost look like tablets or like stained glass windows. Maybe stained glass windows. They're so pretty. They're Ten Commandments shaped. <laughs> but they're not. But I love the... It does look like a little window. I mean... Super pretty. The hole goes through the, this lengthwise. Be beautiful in a necklace. I think it'd be great with my koi fish. I may have to play with some of this stuff together because I'm loving that. That looks amazing. Stay tuned. <laughs> and so I got two of those. So... The ones that I don't really want to pull out because they're they're in packages, I think. I just got a ton of colors. They're just like these little fire polished. Like here's some fuchsia and some kind of orangey red. Some yellow rounds, more yellow. More fire polished. More rounds and kind of a olive green. And I got a pink, kind of a salmon-y pink, more fire polished in a very kind of gray saladin kind of color. These are cool. They're black, but they have a green coating. Let's, I might pull those out because those have an interesting coating on them. kind of see. Those are cool. I just don't want to pull them all out because I will end up with them everywhere. Here's kind of a pearlized green round. These are all like four millimeter and some more fire polished. What else we got? Oh, let me pull these out. These are also fire polished, but they have a really pretty coating. I thought those were really pretty. And some cornflower blue around beads. This is such a, I love this color. Periwinkle, I think it's also called. When they made that the color of the year, Pantone, I was so happy because I love this color. Very, very pretty. And it goes great with all these wild colors. I'm gonna have to do a wild color necklace, I think. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see a wild color. I know I do lots of color, but I'm talking like bright. Let me know. This is a lamp work kind of bar bead that is so pretty. And I, I could see that for the holidays as well. It's kind of curved, but it's got the little hole right there. And it's just really pretty. I like it. 
Look at it with this dolomite. Isn't that pretty? What do we think? Yes, no? <laughs> so that's the lamp work. They had some pretty lamp work. Um, I'm saving my favorite for last, but this, these beads were gorgeous. And I might have to get more. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm excited to play with them. Get ready for the drum roll because they're gorgeous and they're very bright. Look at those. Look at those. Are these gorgeous? I would love to learn how to make lamp work beads. I just love everything about it. I love the colors. I love the little dots. I love that it's got, you know, texture. And they're big. They could be definitely like a focal point of a necklace. Oh, just love those. And they go great with all the yellow beads I bought. And last, but certainly not least, again, thinking ahead for the holidays. And I got two of these because I fell in love with them. I got these pendants. Oh, wait till you see this. Look at those. Look at that. Reindeer with like a starry night enamel with little pave crystals. I love how his antlers come out from around that uh, circle. It get, adds so much. Even one of the stars is kind of hanging off the edge. If you can see that. This is the back. It has its own uh, kind of jump ring, but I'll probably put something more secure. But it's not too soon to start thinking about making some holiday jewelry. Get ahead of it. And this, I had to have, I bought this, one of these for me and one for a loved one. I don't know who yet, but um, that's staying in the family. But I just fell in love with it. I hope they will get more things like this because that's gorgeous. And that is, I think, it. Yes. So that is my big old bead haul um, from Bargain Bead Box. I had a blast. I love filling up the cart and then seeing how much comes off when you hit 30%. Because <laughs> you, I think $40 came off when I hit that, um, hit the... Uh, discount so if you're not i'm sorry i know i'm moving the camera if you're not buying or taking advantage of uh the coupon if you're not doing that i mean it's good prices anyway you know if you don't want to be doing the um subscription but the subscription is like 18 19 dollars and you usually get 60 to 70 dollars worth of items on uh and then then if you need to you know replace what's on your stat in your stash you can um save another 30 percent off like i did and i do this like i said a couple of times a year and that way i can kind of replenish some things and i can you know have more to play with sorry i keep moving that um but fun stuff i mean i'm gonna use all of this i know i will and you know as you make things you gotta fill in but i think i'm loving these colors i'm gonna have to play with these crazy colors all together because now that i see them all piled on here it's making me really happy <laughs> so stay tuned for that Anyway, thanks for joining me on my bead haul. I'm just going to pan around just a little bit so you can see. Get another little gander. I'm going to move slowly so I don't make anyone nauseous. No nauseousness allowed. And do check them out. They have some, they always have new stuff, but the prices are fantastic. And like I said, I don't think you can go wrong at 30% off. They're already giving you great prices and then you, you know, 
So you can really, really do a good job like filling in your stash when you need to. All right. So thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, take care of your sweet selves and your families and be safe. And I will see you tomorrow night for Tutorial Tuesday. We'll be making something with the new bargain bead box. So that'll be fun. And I am going to add probably these items that I bought today or that I got on their website. I'm going to add it to the, to the box. So that being said, I'm going to sign off and I'll see you tomorrow night.